Hello Virgo, welcome to January 2019 tarot reading. Okay, my lovely, oops, there's one for you. My lovely Virgo, sun, moon and rising. Okay, lots of you have emailed me. <laughs> Where's the readings for January? You're so polite, Virgos are so polite. I've had these lovely polite emails, I don't mean to bother you. I love your channel, I'm wondering where <laughs> the reading is. And I thought, oh my God, you've got amazing cards, Virgo. And I thought to myself, do you know what? You're next because you're polite. <laughs> I do appreciate that because I have been losing my voice and um, having to work a bit slower like you do. You've got four major arcana out of five so far. So yes, that's why there is a delay and apologies for that Virgo, my lovely Virgos. Okay, you've obviously got quite a big month in January, which may be why you were asking where the reading was. Let's see if I can. I'm using the Mythic Tarot by Liz Green and somebody else. And I haven't got the box here. Wow. Not going to be a dull month. Ooh, ooh. You come out together that's your overall energy cards whoa okay momentum 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 and fire <laughs> virgo you're not going to know yourself so virgo you're the earth sign that's mutable which i always find quite fascinating i think it lends you a certain spiritual sophistication okay now Things are happening. Two of Wands, that's your overall energy card. Here we've got Jason from Jason and the Argonauts and he's setting off on his mish, you know, or what we would call quest, of course. I don't think the Greeks called it a mish, although knowing the Greeks, maybe they did. So Jason sets off on his mish. Here is Chiron, the wounded healer or the Hierophant in the background. Self-mastery, self-knowledge. 2018 was a big teacher for all of us and you included. So think of yourselves as, boom, two of wands. I'm off on my mish, I'm off on my quest, whatever that may be, and it's big ticket items because you've got big ticket cards. Alongside it, you have the knight of wands. I don't feel like that's your energy, I feel like that's someone else. Fire sign usually, Cap Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. It has a touch of the about it and so does January for you. You're going to be flying by the seat of your pants. You really are. There's a couple of different stories here, but I like the look of it for all of you. The first three cards that came out, okay, were the magician, <coughs> the hanged man and the fool. Well, hey, okay, does it get much bigger than that? Not really, no. Okay. The Fool is the zero card of the Major Arcana, kicking off a new cycle for you. Today is the eclipse in partial new moon solar eclipse, I think, in Capricorn. So great time to do your reading, although it's a bit late. And also consider this you being the Fool like that on the edge of the cliff, okay? It's in the upright. For some of you, this is walking away from a toxic situation. For others of you, it's new opportunities in love. For all of you, there's a potential to turn your life around, change your career path. Or even if you don't do any of those things, there's a potential for you to... You know, there's a quote, I think, by Mark Twain or Shakespeare. And it's something like, no good or bad in things, only thinking makes it so. You could have nothing change materially in your life, but your life will change in January. The way you feel, the way you process, the way you interact with the universe, the way you belong to it. You know, your 
point of attraction is on the rise. Your cards, when I put my hand over the cards, it feels fizzy, which for me <laughs> is like, it feels like the fizz is coming back into your life. You have opportunities which you need to consider, but maybe not in a Virgoan way. Eight of Pentacles reversed, okay? Now, the Eight of Pentacles is Sun in Virgo. That's the aspect for this card. It's the kind of card where someone turns up to a job regularly, does what's required of them and probably some more, is very organised and diligent and reliable and probably gets Employee of the Year. And that is what Virgos are supposed to be like. But there is a much deeper side, as we said, you are the mutable earth sign. And this deeper side is what's being called. And like I say, you may stay in the same job. You know, lots of Virgos do like regularity. You may stay in the same job, but it's not going to feel the same. You're not going to feel the same about it. And for some of you, it's the beginnings of what later in the year, when we have more eclipses in Capricorn and Cancer, will lead to you perhaps changing. Maybe not straight away. You don't just think, ha, huh. oh, some people do, but I want to change my career. Bing, I've changed it. What happens first is you get this unsettling kind of, this is okay, but I think there's more. This whole reading screams, there's more coming. There's more, there's more. Starting with that two of wands, you know, a quest is looking for something. There's something out there. Maybe I don't even know what it is, but I'm going to fortune favours the brave. OK, now we've got the magician. The fool is zero and the magician is number one. It's when the fool learns about magic, power of attraction. Here's the magician at the crossroads with the external parts of the tarot. So he's got the sword, the pentacle, the wand and the cup. As above, so below, or staying alive from the Bee Gees. Either way, OK, maybe he's having a bit of a dance. Why not? OK. The magician is a card of the fool learning how he can not manipulate the externals in life, but certainly play with it as an alchemist and that's what you're going to be doing. Don't expect immediate results. In the middle of these two, the hanged man. Neptunian card. It's sort of associated with Pisces, which is your opposite sign. The hanged man is not just a card that says things are suspended, even though he is suspended. The hanged man is a card that says, whoa, you know, whoa, tiger. Easy tiger. Because the fool is gagging to go, isn't he? And the magic, he wants to try out this stuff. But the hanged man is a kind of... Managing to sort of sit with things and feel where they are without necessarily acting on every impulse you have. You're going to, like with all the fizz and the zzz in this reading, you're going to get a lot of impulse, okay? So for some of you, you may have someone return to you who you used to love or something along those lines, okay? You've got judgment in the reverse, another major arcana card. Judgment is a card of second chances and it's here in the reverse. Next to it is the page of cups. This is a love offer, but it's a page. And I always see this as quite a love offer in its infancy. It's not particularly sophisticated. It's not maybe developed in, you know, if this was a homebrew, they tried to drink it too quick and they haven't let it age. So there is something about this that may not be satisfactory to you, may not be enough yet. And you'd be quite within your rights to sort of, like I say, with the hanged man, you don't have to give someone an answer straight away. You don't have to jump on them with like the fool because you've missed them so much and you get a sort of a semi exploratory offer from them okay you can kind of sit with that like the hangman and with the judgment in reverse and the two of wands and you can actually be of a mindset of abundance 
and think to yourself, well, you've been gone a while, Mr. or Mrs. And you're not my only option. So what are you bringing to the table? Not in an aggressive way, but in a philosophical way. You've got a lot of fish to fry in 2019. Are the, is this person a big enough fish for you now? Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, others an Aquarius. Here, this is Narcissus. Narcissus fell in love with his own reflection, as the Page of Cups shows here. So just bear in mind that some of the behaviour by this person, whether they're coming back to you or whether this is a sort of on again, off again vibe is what I get. Bear in mind that some of their behaviour exhibits some elements of selfishness or narcissism. And maybe you sit back quietly and think to yourself, is that what I want in my life? For others of you, there is a potential here for meeting somebody who feels like a soulmate. That is a weird one. Now, I don't know if that's the same as these other as the other story that I'm thinking here with judgment in the reverse. But I all tarot readers have their special cards that mean things to them. And then there's combinations. OK, I got the four of wands and I got the eight of wands. Four of wands is the 11, 11 card. OK, it's also it's just a lovely card. It's auspicious. It has that. Eight of Wands, the Argo, in the background. That's Jason's ship. And then, of course, if it doubles, like like bacteria, <laughs> if it kind of multiplies, you get the Eight of Wands, which is communication and momentum and action and things happening. For some of you, there is the beginnings of a love relationship. The Page of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Magician, the Fool. It's a very beautiful thing. But again, if someone comes into your life in January, which they may well do, it's whispers of love. It's not let's get married and move in together. It may not even be let's Netflix and chill or let's go to the cinema. It may be something even more under the radar than that. But it could be something very special. So just look out for communication, eight of wands, hearing from somebody. Again, you don't have to leap on it. You don't have to give them what they want straight away. You don't have to act on everything because the potential of what you've got, Virgo, in January is just so damn good. You may not want to close down these rather highfalutin options, which seem to be like this. This is my Jupiter mind normally. So I'm feeling kind of Jupiter energy. I'm feeling bzzz, whatever that is, Gemma. OK, let's have some love cards. No, I want Chuck Spezzano. We're having Chuck Spezzano's love pack. Always want to sing Love Shack when I say that. Yes. Okay. A little bit of everything in the love cards. Oh, and one that has flown to the floor. Okay. Problem card is jealousy. Some of you who may have been separated from someone may have had issues with your insecurities, their insecurities, or literally them being a bit of a player or something, or being in contact with their ex or whatever it is. Jealousy has played a part in it, okay? And again, that's why for some of you, there is a wrinkle with this person who is returning into your life. If it's that. I feel like, again, watching and waiting and observing and not leaping is the way forward for you, Virgo. I still feel like there's loads of potential here. Also, if the jealousy is on your part and you have a suspicion that it's not founded, maybe take responsibility for that and get some kind of, you know, you can buy loads of books or read loads of articles on how to combat jealousy. Everyone feels it. It's an ugly emotion. Nobody likes to admit to it. And we all experience it loads. Only young children actually kind of come out with it. And adults, we just feel shame and learn to hide it. OK, 
Jealousy is an emotion as much as anything else and it's worth its place on the table along with the rest of them. Accept that in yourself, okay? You don't have to accept it in someone else. If they're behaving like narcissists towards you because they're jealous, that's something for them to take responsibility for. All you need to do is take responsibility for your part. It's keeping your side of the street clean, love-wise, okay? But not, not leaning over to sweep theirs. I know you're a Virgo, you like a clean street, okay? You can have your side clean. Let them deal with their side. And then you get responsiveness, which is really nice. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands. So those of you that are single, this is nice. Like I say, this person's kind of under the radar. It's not necessarily just someone straight asking you out. But it is somebody you respond to. And that magician seems to be a part of it. And the fool, again, is like the excited teenager part of you. Whatever age you are, okay? And then you get the grace card of joy. That's a gorgeous card. I really like that card. I like your reading, Virgo. Let's have an oracle card for you. Oh my God. So these oracle cards, which I can never ever remember the name of, I think they're Colette Baron Reed and I think they're Wisdom of the Oracle. And there's about 48 cards-ish. <laughs> I'm so precise with my numbers, Virgo. And two of them are love cards, and you've got one of those two. So there are going to be some Virgo mathematicians that can do statistics and probability. But the probability is, you know, not that high of getting just one of the nicest cards ever. You get the Soulmates card. Soulmates with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands is a delicious little combo. I can't lie, it's nice. It's zuzzy, it's tsst, it's uh, <laughs> it's all nice and I like it a lot. So Virgo, you could meet your soulmate in January. I feel like there is a timeless quality to that. It could be any time in 2019, but it's a big deal. It's not, like I say, it's not some crappy invitation on a normal date. It's meeting someone with the magician, the fool, the four of wands, you know, that kind of feeling. Or if you're in a relationship that's been a bit kind of, it could really elevate through some communication or for some of you through silence if you've not been communicating with someone. This is fantastic. Hello. So this card was burnt by my crystal ball. This is Healing with the Angels Oracle card. And it looks like it's had a spiritual bite taken out of it. Do you like that? <laughs> Manifestation. Now, we're in the new moon energy now, okay? If I get this reading out in time, wherever you are, we're in it now in Capricorn. If you want to meet your soulmate, for God's sake, do a new moon ritual and get it out there. You can even do this with the with just, um, you can put uh, who is my soulmate or if you have a vision of your soulmate or any kind of thing, don't even, doesn't matter what you write, okay, but something to do with manifesting a soulmate. You can put it under your pillow on a piece of paper and then when you wake up, you can take it out and dispose of it. It's usually better to burn it, but you know, you've got to do that safely, okay, so I'm going to leave that with you, be safe with that. So, Virgo, this is a particularly, I think it's the nicest reading I've ever done for Virgo, if I'm honest. So I can see why you wanted it and why your patience has paid off. If you want a private reading, check the description box. I've been a bit inundated. I have limited them a bit recently just because, as you can see, I'm losing my voice a bit and the readings haven't gone up very quickly. So just have a look and see what's available, okay? If you want to donate to the channel, and thank you to those of you that have donated, you can do that in the description box. And please subscribe and hit the wiggly bell to make sure you get my picker card readings and anything else that's on my channel. See you soon, Virgo. Lovely reading for you. Namaste.